What's up guys, Larry Olabami World back again with another video and uh, yeah, this uh, video is going to be about um, Camille Solowatsky, I think his name is, his surname, um, Solakowski or so, something like that anyway, so I, I apologise if I butcher the name, um, but um, yeah, he has been uh, banned for three years by UK AD, UK Anti-Doping, uh, for um, excessive testosterone levels. Um, this is really interesting to me, uh, not the band per se, but the fact that it's Camille, um, because Camille is a journeyman. Um, and he's a, he actually has been fighting ever since I was fighting, which is a long time ago. Um, in fact, when I was, um, before I became like a journeyman and, um, you know, when I was still a prospect and winning, um, he was a journeyman back then. Um, so yeah, it's, 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 it's actually perplexing a little bit because he's, he's been fighting for so long, but at the same time, we can now understand why he's been fighting for so long. And this goes to prove what I've always been saying, that a lot of um, journeymen are on PEDs. In fact, I know that I fought at least one guy 100% on PEDs. I even spoke to him about it later on. I won't mention who it is, but a few of you could probably guess who, who it is. Um, he's turned over quite a few prospects. Um, but yeah, he... Um, Camille has been a journeyman. He's been a, one of the better journeymans because he's turned over quite a few prospects or people who were on the A side of the card. <clears throat> um, and now we probably know why. <laughs> um, so he's he's he obviously he took a excessive testosterone. He claimed that it was a, a supplement that he got from the States or something like that um, that made the testosterone excessive. But uh, I can tell you now that's bullshit. Um, the, see, the, the science, let me just go into the science part of it. The science is that when you test positive, well, there's there's two tests they do for testosterone. The first test that they do to see if you have elevated testosterone is they compare your testosterone levels to your epitestosterone levels. Now, they allow for up to a four to one ratio. So you have in four, uh, time, uh, four, four times the amount of testosterone to epitestosterone, they, they will allow. Now, usually it's one-to-one, -one, so actually it allows people to dope. That's basically, uh, you know, get out of jail free card for dopers with testosterone. Um, if you go over four-to-one ratio, that's when they initiate the second test, which is the carbon isotope ratio test. I won't go into detail with that test because it's very involved, but basically it, it, it's... it's uh, it's a test that will definitely tell you whether the testosterone you have in your system is uh, naturally derived or derived uh, from a medicine. And that is because the testosterone that is sold commercially, uh, commercially is derived from plant sources, uh, Mexican yam to be exact, whereas the testosterone made in your body is an is an organic source made from animal sources, you could say. Um, which is why a lot of uh, backdoor chemists are now starting to make testosterone from animal sources to bypass that test. But it's very difficult. So, yeah. Um, so, with that being said, if you take a supplement that genuinely increases testosterone you won't test positive for excess testosterone because your body will make that testosterone and then make the other metabolites which includes epitestosterone so it will always keep things in ratio so if you see, if you see what i'm saying so you would never actually pop for excess testosterone because your body's making it right so your body's making it therefore all the other processes will be in check uh, all the other metabolites and therefore it's um, yeah it won't flag up as, as, as excess testosterone whereas if you inject 
uh, testosterone, that's different because your body hasn't made that. So even it, the processes can happen uh, to 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 metabolize it, but it's going to happen at a certain rate, and you still have an excess amount of testosterone in your system if you're not microdosing. That is so. It, it, yeah, it, it's not. It's not. You're not going to flag up for excess testosterone using a supplement, unless that supplement is also banned uh, by the, the doping or anti-doping authorities, and therefore that actual substance, like clomiphene, would flag up. If you see what I'm saying. So, yeah, Camille. <laughs> um, obviously, he's been doping for quite a while. Um, it's, it's quite obvious. His last fight, actually, which he got, um, which I think they tested before and after the fight, was against Fraser Clark, who is, um, you know, a big prospect right now. Um, and uh, he was meant to be fighting Fabio Wardy, but they can't seem to make that fight for whatever reason. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's interesting that, you know, uh, an old school journeyman uh, of you know, Camille Solowski uh is uh testing positive for testosterone again like i said this goes back to what i've been saying i said even in, and, and you know people came at me for saying it but didn't believe me but it was the truth that um you know even journeymen in fact journeymen would benefit greatly because they can survive fights hard fights fight sooner because they'll heal from injuries quicker and possibly even turn over some some prospects because they have you know performance enhancing drugs and therefore they can train harder you know um so yeah it there you go Camille Solowski uh what do you guys think um about this are you surprised are you not surprised um are you surprised with the sanction uh three years uh let me know what you think in the comments down below please yeah peace